Hey everybody, my name is Vuko Hontis, so you can just call me Vuko. Um, today, I want to show you a set. Um, it's quite hidden actually, and a little bit misconstrued on these other videos that I've been seeing, which are quite limited videos as well. I think I've only seen a couple um, of people open this set. So this is the 20, uh, 2022 Superhero set by Dragon Ball. Um, a lot of people so far think that this is a Japanese product, but from doing my own research and um, talking to a few people um, using Google Translate and whatnot, it's actually a Chinese set. Um, but don't let that put you off because I know some people think, you know, when products are made from China that they're, you know, flimsy or, you know, really not high quality in a way. Um, this set just really is amazing. You guys, absolutely killer. The art itself is extraordinary. The foiling, unbelievable. Okay, not only that, there are a ton of different rarities in this set, um, ranging from, you know, SSR, is what they call, you know, your generic super rare, I guess, to what, what the other sets you see these days, all the way up to signature cards, you know, signed by the, the voice actors. Um, and even serialized or numbered cards, um, which I'll show you some examples because I've already opened up a few of these, and um, I'll show you some of those examples as well. But I think we'll get into it now. I've got a box here. I do have two boxes. We might open both. We'll just see how we go for time. But I'll show you the box art itself is amazing too. So hopefully we can get this in frame here. This is the 22, 2022 Roadshow Superhero Dragon Ball. Okay, foil, nice foiling in gold on the front. When you open it up, this is what you get. Okay, by the way, magnetic seal. Magnetic seal here, so nice and fancy. But this is what you see. Okay, you open up and you get nice collage, so to speak, of characters, all foiled as well. And this is what you're going to be seeing in the front here, okay? It comes with one box stopper. That box stopper, as far as I know from trial and error, because um, I'm completing a binder at the moment, it can contain a PR or higher, which I believe is a promo rare, um, all the way up to, you know, a, a serialized car, which I've also pulled from one of these. So very nice to have. We'll probably open that one last, actually. And then you get 12 booster packs. So I'm gonna get these boosters out. Now, 12 booster packs, and each booster pack contains two, two cards. Um, you'll see what I mean in a second about how different these cards are. Let's put that off to the side. How different these cards are um, to your regular cards, okay? Like, I also collect the Dragon Ball Super TCG. Um, I've also got, you know, the Super Dragon Ball Heroes cards as well, like... You know, something like this. All right. Um, but these are much different, okay? The artwork alone and the foiling alone, just, I don't know, mind-blowing in my opinion. Uh, I'd love to see what you think as well in the comments. So one to two cards, normally two cards, but one card I have pulled before, and I'll show you that in a minute as well. The rarity was a max, and it was only the one card in the, in the booster pack. So here, let's see if we can get it focus. Sorry, not great lighting in here at the moment. But this is an SSR and number 25. I've actually got all these, so I'll be only sleeving the ones that I need to complete my binder. But absolutely amazing. And our first one is an ultra rare. Ultra rare Goku. But you can see, I'm not sure if you can see that, but just the pattern in the Kamehameha energy ball itself, it's like Nice and shiny, the gold foiling. See how thick these things are, though. And then you've got your backs as well. So I've already got both of those, which is a shame. Let's go on. Let's do another one of these. Okay, here we have an SSR Gohan. 
I also have one of these. I've got all the all the SSRs completed. I'm missing, I think, four ultra rares and ooh, a GP, which I think stands for gold plated. I still don't really know the terms as much, but a gold plated it looks like Gohan. I believe I also have this one. You can see the back there as well. But just absolutely stunning. So I'm chasing, ideally you want a serialized card, or the signature card, but I mean I've opened up, was it, this would be my 12th box now, there's 36 boxes in a case, I just bought a half case before, so 18 boxes, and I've pulled three serialized cards, one was in the promo pack itself, and the other two were just in a booster pack. So we have the Gohan here. Or, oh, in my opinion, one of the nicer Gohans. Before he goes and versus Cell, of course, SS2. Teen Gohan's probably the best character in the game. As you can tell, I've got the, the father-son Goku Cell scene in the background. And we have an ultra-rare Gohan again. I've already got that one, unfortunately. I'm hoping my camera's picking up the quality, because these look even better in person. After this one, I'll show you what I mean by the serialized cards. Oh, very nice card here. Got one of the Cell Juniors. Hopefully you can see. Absolutely beautiful. And we have a CP. CP number five. I actually think I may need this. So that is a bonus. Have a look at this one. Yeah, wow. Magnificent. In the back there as well. You'll notice with the backs um, on the serialized cards, the numbers are on the back and they've only made a certain amount. So I'll show you after this one, I keep forgetting. Um, they only make a certain amount and yours will be numbered out of the total amount. So I'll show you what I mean. This is <laughs> good old Hercule. Or Satan. And, ooh, I've already got this one, but it's just looks amazing, guys. Look at that. I'm not sure if you can see the foiling down in here, but just, just beautiful. Like, look at that sparkle. Good old Boo, my partner's favorite. I'll show you now. Here's just some of the higher rarity ones. Um, so I pulled this one the other day. It is an SLR. I'll take it out of the cover. So you can see a little bit better. Now these are thicker, so um, these magnetic cases that I've got only kind of just fit them. But yeah, have a look at this. This is all foiled, by the way. It's probably hard to tell, but the artwork alone is magnificent. And then as you can see, if I turn this over here now, so on the back, it's actually all shiny. The dragon's all shiny and the borders are all shiny, but the number here says 337 out of 555. So this is a serialized or numbered card. And, um, yeah, shows you that there's only 555 of these ones made. Um, very great in terms of a collector's point of view. Like, I played the card game a little bit myself, but um, I'm more of an outright collector, personally. So that's the SLR. Would love to get another one of those. Um, I'm struggling to find card lists at the moment of this set. Um, I'll show you this one as well. There's not really much information out there about this set at all. It's kind, of, it's quite, quite hidden, so to speak. This is the. I'll oh, take this out too. This is Goku Black, and this is what this is one card. I got this just in the booster pack itself. There, there you go. There's that shine. Okay, this is a max card, so I think this is. One of the rarer ones, it's got a gold border that goes all the way around, but that hollow alone is just beautiful. This is also serialized. So I got 349 out of 350. So, I mean, I would have loved the 350 out of 350, but you know, just to even get one of these at the moment, just from the ratios I've seen personally, um, pretty hard to get. So I'm chuffed about that one. And the last couple I'll quickly show you is the one, I, this is the one I pulled out of the promo rare. So out of these packets you get here, like I'll show you an example soon if we don't pull one of the PRs out of this, but I also got the 
XR. Okay. But absolutely magnificent. Just the foiling, the hollow behind it. And again, this is also serialized. Like you can probably see, that's probably a better picture of uh, the foiling on the dragon and the card. And this was limited to only 128 made. So I got number 92 for this one. Fantastic. And <clears throat> this one too, which I have not seen at all at the moment, uh, I've been looking around, is it's like a Goku sketch art, which is quite fascinating in my opinion. Really cool too. I love this kind of like uh, sketch art comic style and very shiny background. Not numbered or not serialized like the others, but still just very cool. And I kind of like the landscape look, the horizontal look to the cards as well. There are a few others. They're called JR Rarity and they're very similar. They're all hor horizontal. They're not artworked like that, but last thing I'm going to quickly show you here is because I ordered half a case, the seller, and I'll put a link down in the description if you want to, I think he has a few boxes left. Uh, it was apetcg.com, not a sponsor or anything, but um, a great person, you know, communicated well with me and gave me a good deal. There's a deal going on at the moment there. Uh, probably has a few boxes left of this as well because, you know, I can't really find this anywhere. And if you do look on eBay, it's stating it wrong, saying that they're coming from Japan. But this is actually a Chinese set. Now, this is a full embroidered metal gold card. And this is of Gohan. Um, I have left it in its sleeve for now, but I can take it out of here. So if you have a look at this, we can see this is an LCP, they call it. And it's got some weight, like it's full on metal. Lovely colors. And if you turn around the back here, it's actually got a certificate of authenticity. Um, I did Google Translate that, and it came up with, you know, it's come from a um, jewelry quality testing center, okay, certificate of authenticity, so I don't know how real the gold is itself, probably just gold-plated, of course, but number one, the, the Gohan set, I think there's a few to collect of these, maybe four or five, um, but yeah, that's also it. But let's get back to finishing these packs, because I really, really, really want to try and complete my binder. It's going to take more than what I've got left in my case. Oh my God. Again, just stunning. Android 16. And CP6. Ooh, I think I have that one, but I don't know. I'll have to have a look again. But just look at that. The way I've reflected off to the light over here. It's beautiful. I think we're about halfway with the boosters. Remember, you only get 12 packets plus the initial um, initial box topper, which I like to save for last, just for a bit of spice. Another Android 16, different one this time. But just the, I'm not sure if you can see that. I need better lighting in here, sorry. But wow. And an ultra rare. I've already got this one, unfortunately. I think I need number 19 to 22. To complete this set, but well, I think that's Android 13 from memory. Got the Gohan, I think we already pulled this one. And ooh, okay, so I had a feeling we might pull one of these. It's unfortunate that I've already got this piece, but as far as I know, you can get. I think there's nine pieces to make a full art page. Um, I'll show you my binder, you know, maybe at the end of this video if we have time. Otherwise, I'll upload another one. Um, and it can make a complete picture. And it just, yeah, great idea. You've been seeing this a little bit these days in, you know, other TCGs like Pokemon. Pokemon we need. I'm not sure if you guaranteed a hit in each box too. Like I've had some boxes where I've gotten some killer things, but then a couple where, you know, it's not so great. And an ultra rare freezer. Love the look, but yeah, I already got that one, unfortunately. Three packs left of this box. I think I might just do the one box today, guys. But if you are interested, I'm happy to do it about, I think, nine, eight or nine boxes left. So roughly a quarter of a case. And um, I will be more than happy to open that up. 
Again, here's another SSR. And then good old Master Roshi. But I'm not sure if you guys can see that. If I reflect it in the light, it's just honestly crazy. Crazy good. And the quality, like these are thick. These are thick boys. And you know, you could damage somebody with this. Like he's trying to throw cards at somebody, you could really hurt them. But the quality is just one of the one of the great things about this too. It puts you off a tiny bit, I get it, because it's not like your normal TCG cards. But you gotta remember this is uh coming from China. Okay. So it's going to be quite different, but I'm just amazed at the product that they've released here. Like I know there's a couple of other sets that have the same rarities that they've done as well. I've only briefly looked into it, but just look at that. Wow. I already got this one. I've got a fair few dupes now because I believe there's only 27 super SSRs and 27 ultra rares. URs, I just call them ultra rares. Um, sorry, got one pack left there. Um, I think there's a lot of 9 and 18 sets of the others. What do we got here? SSR 24. Well, good old trunks, eh? And a UR Beerus. Beautiful. Um, so, unfortunately, on that box, I don't think it was a great box, to be honest. I think we've got, we've got a few CPs, a few GPs there, but let's pray with this one here that we get something good, something new. As far as I know, like I said, I pulled that one XR serial number from here and I've been pulling JRs, um, which are like the horizontal kind of pictured ones. And I've also been pulling PRs, which is this looks like right now. This is a PR. Fantastic, I have not got this one either. And this looks like Beerus. So this is actually, it's foiled. My camera probably can't pick it up. But it has got the foil. But it's crazy, like it, I love this kind of art. You just don't see this every day. It's the perfect artwork. Kind of reminds me of, you know, I'm from Australia, so it kind of reminds me of like the indigenous, um, indigenous art that you see. But absolutely fantastic. Excellent, how long have we been going for? A little bit. Okay, I'll be sleeving that and putting that one in. Um, I'll quickly show you, just before we go, like I can't really show you the complete binder because my setup isn't the best right now, so. But, um, you know, if we put this in here, like we've got some SPs, okay? Some awesome looking like Goku and SPs there. Here's the frame I was talking about. With the individual pieces and then here's a couple of what i was talking about just before the jr res so like all horizontal similar foiling guys to what you've been seeing on the other cards there um but yeah i think the big chases are once again will be your utes which are your ultimate rares i have not pulled one of those yet um and your serialized cards okay so your cards like this your, your max cards, your SLR cards, your XR cards, okay, anything with a number, the signature card is, I definitely really want those, because I own the, the full set of the Dragon Ball Super TCG ones, um, so I'd love to put it in a frame next to those ones as well, um, but yeah, that's probably about it, guys, thank you for tuning in, and let me know in the comments, okay, uh, if you want me to do another opening, more than happy to. All right, thanks guys, bye.